Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I am back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. Now I know that most of you are actually geoscientists, which means you are a geologist or a mining engineer, and some of you are now thinking, why do I need what you're going to show me right now? That's why I'm starting this with an example. So imagine with me that there's this uh, new area of interest for this project, whether it is a mine or a road or whatever it is. And uh, you're going to do a presentation for your boss or for your client. And I'm sure that the first slide is going to be basically the project location. And usually what we do, us as geologists, we just go and make a simple map with some uh, arrows and some uh, locations with some uh, red lines and that's it and we show them this and we say that this is the project location so you can either do this or do this one you can see that we have a video by the way I don't know if you're aware of that or not but you can actually import videos to your PowerPoint presentation so you can turn this into like a movie for them and I'm sure that everyone is going to be excited about that so you can be talking about that project and that location while the video is actually looping around that area of interest or you can do any kind of animation for any place on earth and what you can do also is you can see that you can play around with the time you can even fly around Mount Everest and this is just cool and amazing. The good thing about this is that you don't need any software, you don't need any knowledge in cinematography or whatever. So all you have to do is your browser needs to be ready and you need to have access to internet and that's it. If this is something that interests you, make sure to follow me and to subscribe to this uh, channel. That's the first thing. The second thing, watch this full video. So the tool that we're going to use is actually called Google Earth Studio. So I know that every one of you actually is familiar with Google Earth, the famous, you know, uh, Earth tool for uh, maps and uh, viewing different locations on Earth. But recently, uh, Google Earth is not anymore a desktop application. So you can go and use Google Earth online as a cloud you know uh, software and they have this option that is or this tool called Google Earth Studio that allows you to make animation out of the Google Earth imagery and it is just amazing so uh, like you've seen uh, in the video it, I was able to create these kind of things so in like five or ten minutes so you don't have to uh, get to be an expert in animation in order to create these kind of things and so you can see here that this is the interface that you're getting and by the way before we dive into the uh, tutorial uh, Google Earth Studio is not just like if you access the link I'll leave the link in the uh, in the description below by the way so when you uh, log in for the first time you're not going to have access to the software uh, they're going to like um, give you access to the software in like two or three days so be patient uh, when you request the software uh, that's what happened with me uh, it took me like two to three days after uh, I requested access to the software and it is totally free that's the great thing so you can see that we have this interface in here so you can either start with a blank project so you can do uh, you can go and customize everything by yourself or if you want to start with uh, something like a preset you can click on the arrow in here and you can see that you can do some quick starts in here and if you have a project uh, saved you can go and open last project or you can import a file that you've saved in the past in our case let's make this simple and if you guys are interested in like a complex animation or to go like uh, I don't know like one hour video for this tool to show you all the different things that can be done please let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to do this for you so let's go and click on quick starts 
So we can see that we have some quick starts project in here. This is to zoom in to one location. This is to orbit around one location. And this is to move like from one point to another. And this is for like a spiral animation. And we also have here the fly to and orbit. And I like this one. So let's go. So you can see that in the example there, you're uh, moving to the uh, Eiffel Tower and you're uh, orbiting around it. So let's go and click on this one and click on start. So if you choose a preset, the first thing that you're going to be asked to do is you can either zoom into your location that you're interested in or you can just go and pick a location uh, here. So let's go to Open Pit Mine, Nevada, USA. So let me go to that location. And now let me go to this uh, Open Pit in here because all of us are, or most of us here are mining engineers or geologists. So we are interested in mines. So this is the first step that you're going to do. So this is the location that we're interested in. I'm going to move to the next one. And you can see uh, that already we have this animation. We're zooming into this location and you can see that everything is in total 3D and we are orbiting around this. But what if we don't want this altitude here? So what we can do is we can change the end altitude to be maybe here and we can change the orbit radius, for example, to be here. Don't worry because we can actually modify any of these uh, manually later on. So if we're happy with this presentation or with this uh, animation here, what we can do is we can move to the next step, which is choosing how long you want this animation to be. So you can see now that's 25 seconds, okay? But usually in animations, and in animation uh, softwares, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that or not, we actually measure the time in frames. We call them like frames per second. So uh, usually, uh, or the best frame per second to be used is like 30 frames per second. Usually TVs and uh, I believe movies use like 24 frames per second. So that's how many images are going to, um, you know, to see in one second, that's 13 images in one second. So that's how videos work. So basically a video is a bunch of images. So let's pick like 30 seconds and move to the next step. And you can see that the project already was created for us. But now in the timeline here, like I mentioned in most of the animation softwares, uh, you're not going to view this in seconds, but in frames. So now we are on frame uh, zero, zero, okay? And if we move to this one, this is frame number 16. So if we have like 30 uh, frame per second, basically this is two seconds, okay? Also in the software, if you started like a custom, uh, custom animation, you will be able to choose how many frames you want. So in our case, it's gonna be about 900 uh, frames that's exactly 13 seconds uh, that we've chosen and you can see that this is the animation that we have okay now this is the basic and this is the first basic thing it which is frames that I believe that probably uh, most of you are not into animation so this is probably something new for you then what we have here is what we call key frames so what are key frames these are basically you have different attributes so you can see the attributes that we have in here is the camera position and you can see that this uh, this is a key frame. So basically you can see this blue uh, point in here means that we've already added a key frame at the frame 00, zero which means that the software is going to mark this exact position and this, this camera target at this key frame. Okay, then if we move to this one for example, we say that uh, if we go to the frame 800, uh, I mean like uh, 180, uh, mark this current position. And then if we move from this one to this one, you can see that the software is creating some sort of an animation, okay? So the rotation is going to move uh, from that this specific uh, rotation to this specific rotation. And the latitude, longitude, and altitude is going to move from this location to this second location. 
And this is what creates an animation, okay? So what you can do is, for example, if at this specific point here you want to move, let's say, the camera to this position, what you can do is at this location you are going to go and add a keyframe and you can see that we've added a keyframe in here. So now if we move in, go back and move, you can see that the camera is going to change here. So it's not going around that location and then move to the next spot. Okay, so this is basically what we call uh, keyframes and how useful are they. Also, what you have here is a plan view of the camera. You can see that this is the camera and you can see that we have a target in here which is this attribute that we can add attributes in here so we uh, will see that in a moment and you can see the full animation in plan view here so this is the path that we're following so what you can do is if you want to do this the easy way you can go to this one and probably make it go here and edit the path in a way or in the way that you like also you can right click on this one and choose smooth path and let me go and zoom in to this location let me go back and choose smooth path and you can go and play around with this one so let me see how this uh, is going to work now so if you go to the animation and it's a little bit uh, you know going crazy here because of the path that we've chosen but that's okay but just here to give you the idea how things actually works and we're moving away from that location and taking a long turn here and probably going back to that location so um, you can see that this is really easy to use and it's not really that hard you don't have to have a degree in cinematography to create something like this now let's say that we want to change the time of the day okay like the one you've seen in the trailer so to do so we are going to add attributes okay in the attributes you can see that we already have an attribute called camera target this is the target that the camera is always going to focus on that we've chosen that bit okay now you can see that we have all of these different attributes and now what we need is the time of the day so let me click on OK and now you can see that we have environment and we have time of the day now let's see how this actually works so if you look here let me see where's the sun so I believe that the sun is from this direction so by the way if you click shift and you can play around with the mouse keys either with the left or the middle mouse button or the right click to orbit around or pan or do basically the same thing that you are able to do inside Google Earth so uh, let me see so let's play around with the time of the day you can see that we can play around with the sun and maybe you like this uh, time of the day and also you can add keyframes so at this uh, time so basically we are going to be uh, probably at night and if we move to this location we are going to see day and you can see that we've created an animation moving from this keyframe to this keyframe and now if you go back and do an animation you can see that we go from night to day and you can see it's really easy it's really simple and you can also go and manipulate these while the animation is working to see if that's something that you would like or not and it is a really amazing tool to create these animations and a high resolution videos that everyone is going to be thinking that this is probably like a, a drone video but it is not and you don't have to own a drone or know how to use it in order to create these videos now this is basically a simple video but as you can see it is a really simple tool uh, that uh, you don't have like it's not like rocket science to use this tool and I've shown you the basics and like I said if you're interested in learning how to create sophisticated and you know um, you know cool videos with this one let me know how to make a longer version of this tutorial by the way if you have a let's say uh, if you have a path that you want to import you can go to file and you can import, let's say, a KML or KMZ, uh, you know, 
uh, path from Google Earth or from your GIS software, you can import that and you will see it in here. So that's going to be like probably your area of interest or the path that you've been following. And what you can do later on, you can probably make the camera actually follow that track to see what is the path that you've taken to that, I don't know, like to to go to that specific location or whatsoever. And if you're happy with the results and you like this video uh, that you've created, what you can do is you go to render. Now this is the video that we've created in here. So if we're happy with this, we're going to give this a title. Let's say test. This is going to be a test. And you can see that we have the destination is cloud renders. So you can either save this to an image sequence JPEG and for this one you will need like uh, uh, you'll get a bunch of videos the, the different frames that we've created basically 900 images and you will need like a, a movie maker software in order to make them a video so why using this while we can just create this on the cloud so we will choose video mp4 and you can see that we are going to have this in full HD and uh, you leave everything else by default and all you have to do is to click on submit and basically this is going to be all rendered in the cloud and when the video is ready which will take like about five minutes or less it really depends on the animation that you've created and uh, Google Earth Studio is going to send you a download link to your email that you're using to use the software here and you can download that and get the video ready and that's it for this video I hope it was informative I hope you enjoyed this thing if you want to see more of these kind of things uh, let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to make more of this and please subscribe that's one way to help me like this video share it with anyone who's interested and see you in another video